All right, y'all, welcome back to Come Arms channel. Okay, so today we are continuing the Uncommon Grit series, which is about the Singapore Special Operations Assessment. So this is episode three. In the first two episodes, we saw like, I guess it was the first week of the Special Operations Assessments, where they're really just getting hit hard with physical exertion, probably sleep deprivation, hunger, to make them rethink their decisions. So maybe we're gonna see some more technical assessing as a, maybe their, their skill sets. And then I guess the last two episodes are probably going to be like the sort of final exercises, which are going to be probably pretty freaking brutal. So I'm excited. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, the solid recap. For two weeks, these men are putting themselves through the toughest selection in the Singapore Armed Forces, the Joint Special Forces Selection. Hmm. Passing it will give them a small foot in the door to continue their journey into the Special Forces small foot in the door. course before they become a Special Operations Task Force or SODF Trooper. Uh, yeah. The intensity hit us a lot harder. The evolutions are more back-to-back. -back. We are being faced with a lot more physical challenge before and after each evolution. It really pushes us much further. I didn't notice before, but he's got like a really solid British accent and his English sounds pretty good. I don't know, I don't know the history of Singapore, to be honest. I don't know how I didn't notice that before, but yeah, I'm not really too sure what's going on there. At the end of the week, how many will be left standing to continue this journey? Yeah, man. So the, the first week, of course, they were just getting battered with all the physical exertion, which, you know, they probably have their, their physical assessments, or their physical tests they need to knock out at first. But of course, they're not, they're not having any downtime with any of these guys in too deep. <laughs> uh oh. I wish you said the time. Another day, another set of evolutions that will determine who stays and who goes. It's like they're sleeping like that Even or something. The second week of selection, <laughs> the tests become more grueling and unpredictable. That's so annoying. The candidate numbers have dwindled to less than half. Damn, okay. And that the most sense. difficult part of these tests. The most difficult part. Uh, the warm up. <laughs> okay, really? Yeah, okay. I'm liking their blue training guns. <laughs> I'm sure they're not liking them too much though. <laughs> Everything is so much more annoying when you have a rifle to take care of. To I mean, even if it's not a real one. Trial, they will test their ability to adapt to a different environment. Okay. Today is the water and high confidence test. Basically what oh, we want to man. see is that Here the trainees go. are confident in water and that they are able to overcome their fears. It's just a baseline for us to gauge like how confident they are in water and in uncomfortable situations. And I would do bad at this. Has to be able to traverse comfortably in any environment, on land, in the air and in water. Hmm. As part of the test, the soldiers will need to swim almost non-stop for several laps carrying a heavy load. Oh my this god. This walk in the park for a naval diver. Still, <laughs> yeah. The constant back-to-back -back tests of varying degree and intensity will see if these soldiers <laughs> can ace this test. Yeah, again, when it comes to any sort of like physical exercise or any physical test, this is really what, what smokes me. My you know, endurance in the water is just not fantastic. My confidence in the water has gotten a lot better, but for the stuff that they're doing, yeah, th uh, there's very little chance I would make it out of there. I mean, if I can, you know, try and then end up freaking drowning and they still let me continue, you know, that's one thing, but they probably don't want somebody that's just not like that competent of a swimmer. And it's kind of nice that a lot of these guys are coming from the Navy divers because they're probably going to do pretty well. Failing this means elimination from the selection. <laughs> there you the go. It's know it. <laughs> Damn. Actually, before I came for selection, to this evolution was the one I was most afraid of because when I was training for this whole selection, swimming was my weakest. Yeah. But I've been clearing things that I couldn't do before. So my morale is high. I'm going to push through. Doing better than me, it looked like. <laughs> I've never swam with a rifle This evolution either. particularly is quite unique. It doesn't matter whether you're such a strong swimmer, you need to be able to navigate your equipment well, be confident underwater, be able to not panic and keep calm. Hmm.
Yeah, and the kit. Swimming with a uniform and boots is a nightmare for me. And then when you throw kit on and a weapon, that's tough. The little rest in between the swims and the intensity of the test takes a toll on some. That sucks. You just want to see them quitting. You just want them to suck it up and just push it. <laughs> I'd be the one drowning though, that's the thing. You don't want to see that either. <laughs> the combat swim or something that I couldn't clear until the last day of my prep. So today is the first time I actually cleared the swim. It feels good, but still, my heart is still beating fast. Good stuff. I found myself struggling during the combat swim and I could see there was really quite a distance to go. However, I knew that I had to complete this as a veto evolution, so I really had to push myself to finish. Oh yeah, he's, he's killing it, it looks like. I'll be really surprised if he doesn't make it. Okay, let's see how tall they're jumping from. That looks like, I don't know, 18 feet or something. Maybe like 20 feet. Yeah, oh, that's a good one, <laughs> holy cow. Giving some dudes a GoPro. Yeah, this was always like really unnerving for me. I was never a big fan of heights. I kind of got over that in the military. Uh, but doing this in Marine Corps boot camp was probably the scariest. Every time after that, it, you know, it, it kind of, the fear went away even more. And that might just be with heights, but at the same time, I can kind of predict how it's going to feel. Because really, like, you, you hit the water, you're not going to go that deep. You know, you hit the water, you throw your arms out and start going up and, you know, you reach the surface, like, very, very quickly. So, yeah, I, I think there's, like, that initial fear, if you've never done anything like this, that you're just going to hit the water and it's going to, like, hurt or you're going to face plants or you're just gonna go like super deep and it's gonna be like kind of disorienting finding your way up. But yeah, it's, this part isn't that bad. I think the, the fall is the worst part for me because yeah, I'm not a big fan of like roller coasters or feeling that feeling either. <laughs> Passing this evolution was a big step for me. I'm very glad to have completed it. Underwater confidence is a significant challenge. So I feel like having passed this, I'm going into the next evolutions confident. Yeah, good stuff. I'm sure that took out a lot of the dudes too, huh? It never stops, huh? <laughs> Again, it's just two weeks, like nonstop. Let the test end. The candidates know that the selection is going to get tougher. But they prepared. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going through one evolution at a time. After every evolution, it's uh, just one down and one one less evolution with the completion and just uh, pushing pushing on to the end. Uh, they got real. That, I thought some of them had real rifles, but maybe not. Yeah, it looks like they do, huh? Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Now things are starting to get serious too, huh? You always think like they made it past like the really, really challenging stuff, but yeah, the way these selections are designed, yeah, it's like, it's non-stop, but it's also hard in the beginning and hard in the end, and just kind of like difficult inter intermittently in the middle. <laughs> Week two is a bit of mental gimme for the candidates. I can't feel my legs anymore, but it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to check out the next episode, so I don't want to spoil it too much. I'm, I'm excited to see that. I saw them, they're running with like a sandbag or something. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not a fun time either. Yeah, so again, for me physically, like the toughest things are always going to be those sort of water confidence tests. Now, I wanna know since, I mean, for me, again, I'm not like the best swimmer. Um, I can survive, but again, when you start adding like gear and weapons and, you know, longer distances, it's gonna be very, very tough for me. Uh, but I wanna know, a lot of y'all who actually grew up swimming or are pretty confident swimming, let me know how these tests actually look to you. Cause again, for me, it's like, there's no way. I mean, I would struggle very, very hard. Um, it would be like a miracle if I was, you know, to, to make it past these. But for a lot of y'all who are actually confident swimming and, you know, who are really, really strong swimmers, let me know how these tests actually look for y'all. As far as putting on the uniform, putting on the boots, like that alone makes a, a decent difference. 
uh, especially for buoyancy. But then when you start adding gear and a weapon, it just makes it super awkward because, you know, your body dynamics change so significantly. But I guess, you know, if you know the fundamentals and you can kind of, you know, perfect a, a good way of swimming with, with something like that, like we saw they were almost doing like a, a weird freestyle or side stroke with the weapon. Yeah, I guess if you can start doing that, then it'll work. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think about it. So far, the selection looks it looks tough because again, I always like to judge how far I would make it in that selection process. And usually when I see the water stuff, I'm like, that's probably where it would be it for me. But all of this looks brutal. So it's going to be interesting to see how many people actually make it out in the end. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm excited to, to finish this out. It's going to be a good one because uh, it's definitely not letting up. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.